When doctors look at a scene like this, they see the creation of cancer. Skin cancer is more common in Australia and New Zealand, sunny places with lots of fair-skinned people than anywhere else. Today, Bethany Careys avoids the beach. She sits in the shade and always wears a hat and applies cream. But she didn't when she was younger, and at 19, Bethany was diagnosed with a malignant melanoma on her arm. There were quite a few times where I'd go out thinking, I'm going out for coffee, I'll be out for five or ten minutes, I won't be in the sun that long. Before you know it, you've been sitting in the sun for a few hours and you've gotten quite burnt. Technology to protect people from accidental long exposure to the sun and its dangerous ultraviolet rays is what nanomaterial engineers are working on at a Melbourne University. Made from silicone rubber, the engineers are creating thin, transparent, wearable patches. Silicone, the material that we use, we probably know it from your contact lenses. It's really durable, so you can stretch and bend it uh, without breaking it. And that's the point of, of this patch, is that you can take this patch, slap it on your arm and forget about it. The real innovation, though, is coating the silicone patch with an equally flexible layer of zinc oxide. It's exceptionally thin, a thousand times thinner than a human hair. Exposed to different light, including dangerous UV light, which is invisible to the human eye, the properties of the zinc oxide change. At the moment, this equipment is needed to measure that change. But the scientists think soon the patch will be able to transmit wirelessly to a smartphone information about the amount of UV it, and therefore the skin around it, has had. It'll warn people when their UV exposure is getting high. Getting an SMS on your phone is going to be an alert just to let you know that, look, you've had too much UV, and I think people are not going to ignore an SMS. There are, though, dangers. We don't want a, a meter or a sensor which is going to delay people's willingness to put on sun protection right from the word go when they're outside. But as an addition to traditional sun protection, rather than as an alternative, wearable technology is seen as helpful. This innovation, the scientists hope, can be mass-produced cheaply within five years as a wearable technology to alert people to when they need to wear more or get out of the sun. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.